What is RSS? Well, RSS is a really easy way for websites to syndicate their content via what we call a feed so that its readers can keep up to date with what's going on on that website without having to visit the website each time. Now, it stands for really simple syndication and the way most people use it is they have a number of websites which they want to keep updated with and they take the feed from each one and they aggregate that feed into what we call a reader and the reader um, aggregates all of those feeds so that they can keep up to date with each website with only having to go to one place. But the way we want to use it is slightly different. We want to utilize the functionality of RSS so that we can keep our Web 2.0 pages and our blog up to date with recent and relevant content without having to do all the work of uh, manually updating content. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now by uh, using the RSS feature and the find content module of Market Samurai. So we open Market Samurai, go to the Find Content module, and uh, right away you'll see that the RSS button has been relocated. Now it used to be located down the side here, right next to each content source. However, we've consolidated that into one button so it's simpler and easier. So this is the new functionality of the RSS. Um, so what we want to do is click on the various sources of content which we want the RSS feed for, and uh, we click, well, I just randomly click a few here, and then select RSS for selected and that'll pop up this big white box here which has each of the RSS feeds located in it. Now I'm going to show you how to insert uh, this feed into a Web 2.0 page so I'm going to select the first one which is eZine articles and uh, I click copy to clipboard and that copies the feed to the clipboard as it uh, says there uh, and now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to uh, open a Squidoo page and I'm going to show you how to insert this feed into the Squidoo page. Now we're looking at the Squidoo homepage. If you haven't already signed up for a Squidoo account, you can do so by clicking the sign up button in the top right hand corner of the page. If you have already signed up for an account and you're logged in, then you'll be looking at your Squidoo homepage dashboard. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is click on My Lenses. When you do that, you'll come to your Lenses area. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is create a new lens if you haven't already created one. You'll go through a four-step process of uh, specifying some settings and some details about what the lens is going to be about, and then uh, you will go to that lens page. In my case, I've already created one, so I'm just going to edit that one. So I click Edit here, and now I'm looking at the Squidoo lens page. And because we want to add uh, an RSS feature, uh, I need to find it. So we come down to the modules area here, and I can either browse all of the modules or I can go to the popular ones which I know the RSS one is in. So if we scroll down here we can see uh, RSS add your blog. So I want to do that so I click the add the plus button and that adds a one there because it's going to add one module and then I click add and that's going to add that module to the bottom of my uh, Squidoo Lens page. If I scroll down you'll see it here at the bottom and what I want to do is I want to edit that because I want to put the RSS feed URL into this module. So the first thing I've got to do is I've got to put a heading there. So I'm going to put happiness because that's what my keyword is about, that's what the feed is about. And then I scroll down and I put the feed in here. Uh, that's the feed that I got from Market Samurai. And I can uh, choose how many headlines I want and I can choose uh, whether I want an excerpt or not and in this case I'm going to put 100 characters which is basically just a description for the headline and then I click save. When I click save it goes away and it finds the feed and the final step is to publish it. So then I come up to the top and I click publish here and that's just going to take a second and now that's published and uh, to see what I've just created I can go to the, the URL of that lens itself, the URL that everybody else can see, the live one, and I click uh, refresh, and it should have inserted the RSS feed which I just created. And you can see down here it's just trying to load the feed. It'll only take a second, and now you can see that the feed is loaded. So that's how you use an RSS feed from Market Samurai to keep your Web 2.0 pages up to date with recent and relevant content.